We expect our tires to be virtually indestructible, but what happens when it's time for them to be replaced? Each year, around 110 million tires are processed by the recycling industry. That's approximately one tire for every three people in the U.S. The average tire contains 10 to 12 pounds of rubber and 2.5 pounds of steel and nylon, all of which can be recycled into new products. Two methods are commonly used to process scrap tires into a crumb rubber product. Ambient shredding, which uses powerful blades to shred the rubber, and cryogenic grinding, in which liquid nitrogen is used to freeze the rubber so that it can be pulverized into even finer sized chips or powders. In 2013, 70 million tires were recycled into crumb rubber for use in ground rubber markets, including in the manufacture of playground surfaces, synthetic turf, molded products, and rubberized asphalt, as well as in new tires and automotive parts. An additional 20 million tires were recycled and used as lightweight fill for road embankments, rail vibration dampening, and other civil engineering uses. 5 million tires were recycled into agricultural applications, and 15 million were processed in the U.S. for export to consumers in other countries. The benefits of recycling scrap tires are numerous. The use of recycled rubber in molded products provides a substantial carbon footprint advantage over the use of virgin plastic resins, creating between 4 and 20 times lower carbon footprint. Rubberized asphalt uses about 1,000 tires per lane mile per 1 inch of thickness. Rubberized asphalt roads are quieter and more durable than regular asphalt roads and can be half the thickness, which means less material is needed to create roads that last longer and require less maintenance, prolonging the life of vital infrastructure and creating economic and environmental advantages that will benefit everyone. The next time you get in your car, you'll know that the life of a tire is not measured simply by the distance it will take you down the road, but by how much closer it can bring us to a safer, greener, and more sustainable future.